So hello everybody, it is Sentinel and we are back. Um, we are at the Gulch. Now as you can see there is an area on the map that I have not marked that is at the Gulch. There is a reason for that. Come out the door where Sheriff Eagle is. Turn to your right. I think it's Sheriff Eagle that's over there. And you will find this hedge. Go behind the hedge and you will find this door. You cannot open this door until we get the electricity back on. Once we get the electricity back on, you can go through that door, clear anything that's standing in there, and you will mark the area up and get some nice little bits of loot. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, there is an area there still waiting to be marked up. And I think it's Sheriff Eagle. I'm actually going to go and check and see which Sheriff it is. Um, just so you're all... So we're all aware of which door you need to go out of. Yeah, I'm near enough sure it's Eagle. Yep, Eagle. So, that's the door you go out of, and that literally just right there is where you find it. But you need the par, as I have said. So, um, I went and got loads and loads more 10 mils. I have decided, out of sheer random nosiness, I will go and mark up other places, I promise. But I have decided, out of sheer random nosiness, I can't help but you know what I'm like. I tried to basically climb up the back of the mountain. This did not go very well for me. So while I was over in the Commonwealth buying loads and loads and loads of shipment of lead, I built myself a jetpack. Oops. Sorry about that dude. Not. So <laughs> Oh, I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to see if my jetpack can get me any further up there so I can go and see what's up there. There's probably nothing up there but sheer nosiness and curiosity is pushing at me and I want to see what's up the back of the mountain. I've warned you, I'm random. I meant it. Um, we still have Kitty Kingdom to do and a Safari um, and divvy them up. The pack actually seem to be rather happy over in, in Dry Rock. They're happier there than they were actually in the Safari. Although they do, do keep talking about the treehouse and how the treehouse would be a really cool place to have. They're not getting the treehouse. I know, but let's face it, in reality, we could climb up. such a child right now. I don't really see anything like, but you know, sheer nosiness drove me to it. I wonder if there's anything that way. I've never actually used a jetpack before either, so this is my first attempt at using the jetpack. Sheer nosiness drove me to check and see if there was like anything. So far, I don't really see anything here other than me more than likely getting stuck and glitching onto something. <laughs> oh. Let's jump and scare Gage. Oh, that didn't work. I want to jump, jump. Boring. Hmm. There might be something at that bit. <laughs> I'm like a two-year-old. Oh, 
Well, this would make mountain climbing a hell of a lot easier. Trust me. <laughs> a jetpack. I could live with this. Yeah. No jetpack not working. Eh. Make me fall. <laughs> so I've been asked um, by some friends what am I planning to do now that uh, Fallout 4 is over I'm um, sorry Fallout 4 is what <laughs> just because the game isn't going to release any new DLCs it does not mean to say I'm going to stop playing okay I will be adding other games to the channel uh, it's still up for debate at the moment what ones I'm going to go with. I'm not really sure. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions, remember I'm PS4 at the moment. I will be getting an Xbox at some point. So um, you will have a PS4 player as an Xbox noob. I have never, ever played an Xbox. I tried once to play a 360 and it just it didn't work for me. The controller was a nightmare. Um, you have always been PC or PS4. So, um, at some point, um, as I say, I'm planning to get myself an Xbox One. Um, so I can get mods. I just want to get down out of power armor. I am uh, in the process of gathering the money together to get myself a brand new gaming PC. On which I will actually be making mods. So, yeah. Um, and messing around with the creation kit and other stuff like that. So, yeah. But as it is at the moment, I don't rightly know what I'm going to be doing when this DLC finish, when, when, when I'm finished. Although that's not going to be happening anytime soon. As I said in my special question and answers video that I've done, I, I played Fallout 3 from I got up. Um, literally, even... New Vegas, New Vegas was out, I was playing New Vegas as well, um, right up until Fallout 4 came out, I was still playing Fallout 3 and New Vegas, they were two of my favourite games, so may not be any content for it on the channel, maybe once, if, fingers crossed, at some point before the end of the world, and Armageddon drops on top of us, um, and we end up with Super Mutants and Ferals in real life, um, we will get mods for the PS4. Um, that looks cool. That looks so cool to stand on the side of the mountain like that. That actually does look rather actual cool. That rocks. I like that. Um, I will be, you know, once the mods touch down, I will be doing videos with uh, PS4 mods and all the rest of it. Obviously. But as it is at the moment, I am. I have no real plans on what I'm going to do next. I'm sure I will get round to doing something as of what I haven't got a ball day. So, um, where am I going? Does anybody got a clue where I'm going right now? Because I certainly don't. That's back in there, isn't it? What's that? What's Kitty Kingdom? Right, okay, we're going to go and do Kitty Kingdom. Um... Once I can move again, so um, uh, as I say, I did go over and buy myself a lot more, um, a lot more towns, uh, bought l tons and tons of of um, shipments. I just I decided I wanted to try and climb the mountain. So yeah, we're off to Kitty Kingdom. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun.